Hello and welcome to this quick little video, which is problem three from the first homework assignment. Now note that your um, actual numbers may differ from mine in general, but in this case they don't. Um, so here's the problem. A bank manager has developed a new system to reduce the time customers spend waiting to be served by tellers during peak business hours. Typical waiting times during peak business hours under the current system are roughly 9 to 10 minutes. The bank manager wants to reduce that to 6. So the first thing that the bank manager must do in order to determine if the new system works is to select a random sample of customers and see how long those customers waited and then perform some statistics on that sample. Um, the population in this case is all customers of this bank. The sample are the hundred customers that needed service during the peak business hours. The data file con uh, contains 100 waiting times and in order to access the data file you can click here for Excel data file which, require, which will uh, probably open up a window asking for a place to save it so you can open it later or depending on your uh, browser it may open it up right then and there. Here's the wait times. Notice the data is in column B. The variable name is wait time. The wait time for the first customer is 1.6 minutes. The wait time for the second customer is 6.6 .6 minutes. The wait time for the third customer is 5.6 minutes, etc. Scrolling down, we'll see that the wait time for the 100th customer is 5.5 minutes. So the units here will be in minutes. Question 1, or part A of this. Most wait times will be from what to what minutes? Well, to determine the minimum wait time and the maximum wait time, we could go through look for all the mins and maxes and try to determine what it is for the entire data set or we can just click on the variable name in Excel go over here to sort and filter click on it sort A to Z and now all the wait times are sorted from lowest to highest the lowest wait time is 0.4 minutes which is about 24 seconds and scrolling down the highest is 11.6 so from 0 0.4 to 11.6. The next question is approximately what percent of customers will wait less than 6 minutes? Well, to find that out, all we have to do is sort the data, which we've already done, and highlight all of those times that are less than 6 minutes. Notice I highlighted them. Notice that in the bottom right, count is 60. Similarly, while you were highlighting them, notice that it says 60R by one column, so that 60 rows. So there are 60 values here that are less than 6 minutes. Since there are 100 data points altogether, 60 of them are less than 6 minutes, that translates to 60%. So this problem had three parts to it. One was having you be able to calculate the range. Two was calculating the proportion that are less than six minutes. And in some ways, the most important part of this is the discussion of collecting the data. And the paragraph does a really good job of explaining why the uh, customers had to be sampled and how they were randomly chosen. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.